Hello and welcome to this short little video on FileZilla. Now FileZilla is an FTP client or FTP software that allows you to upload information or download information from your computer to your web server or from your web server to your computer. And there's a little bit of information you're going to need to be able to do that in addition to having the software, in this case FileZilla, you're going to need that information from your web hosting company, be it a HostGator, HostMonster, one-on-one, -on -one, whoever you pay money to to have your website online, uh, your web hosting company, that's you need to get this info from. And that info is the FTP username, FTP password, and the host name. And this is information that can also be retrieved from your control panel. But again, that's getting a little off course from this particular video. But suffice to say, there's some information in addition to having the software that you're going to need to be able to use your FTP client. So once you have that information, the host address or the host name, the username and the password, then come on back here and hit play on this video. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Now, there's a whole bunch of different FTP programs out there, but this video is going to be on FileZilla. It's free, it's solid, it's uh, very fast, so let's go ahead and do a search in your favorite search engine for FileZilla, and I'd suggest spelling it really close to that, and you come up with results similar to this. Now, then if you click on this right here, that's going to bring you to this page here. And you want the FileZilla client, not the server. That's way above my pay grade. So let's stick with the client for now. And just click on that. That will bring you to this page. And depending upon your operating system, be it a Windows, a Mac, a Linux, or what have you, it would be depending upon which one of these downloads you, you choose. Now, myself, I have both a Vista 64-bit and a, an XP 32-bit. And these will work on both of those. So just because it doesn't say anything in here about 64-bit, yeah, go for it. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? It just won't work. But it works on my machine, so it should work on yours. Now, then, both of these are basically the same, just one of them is a little compressed than the other. So in either case, once you get them to your desktop, in this case, unzip and then install. In this case, just install. And it's a pretty straightforward installation process. Once you get all that done, then you're going to end up with a nice little icon like this on your desktop, if you choose to do so. Then you just double click on this or right click and then left click on open and bam this is the basic interface of your FileZilla software or FileZilla client and then this is where that information is going to go the host name here if you just ho hover over it that cool info comes right up then you're going to need your username and the password and the port you could probably leave this empty but basically it's going to be 21 uh, more times than not then on the left hand side here these panes here are going to be your computer this is if you click on this then there will be certain files that open up down here that are contained inside of this folder. Similar setup over here. These, this is your web server. This is the internet. This would be a file or the root directory. And we'll get to that in just a second here of your website or blog or what have you. And then depending upon what you click on over here, these are the files that are contained inside of that folder. So if you do any uploading, chances are it's going to be from here to here. And of course, this will just simply fill up the files that are up here. Then down here, this is just the uh, the queue or the line, if you will, depending upon what side of the pond you're on. And this just basically shows you what's taking place here. Now then, as far as the guts, let's go ahead. This right here is what they call the quick connect. And you can do basically the same thing here as you would inside of your manager or the site manager. So if you have the host name, you can put that right in here, put that right in there, put that right in there, port 21, and then click right here, bing, bang, boom. Now this, and you'll connect if it's all correct. Then, whenever you come back later on, the next day, next month, whatever, then you can just hit this drop down arrow, and then you'll have all of them that you used in here, you'll have them listed right down here. And you can just select one of those, click that, boom. It's a quick connect that's the name quick connect now then that being said that's just one way you can also come up here to file and then come to uh, left click on site manager and that's the shortcut keys there hold the control key down and hit the letter s as in sam and bam this will come up now then this is uh, fresh out of the box nothing's in here first and foremost you click on new site 
then you can give it whatever name you want. This has no bearing other than for whatever you want. Okay, so if this is the name of your website or blog, put that in there. Or Joe Blow, whatever. Whatever you want to put in there, put it in there. Then you put the host info here, just like up here in the Quick Connect. The port, you can leave that blank or put 21 in there then this is usually what you're going to be choosing more times than not. And for those of you that are a little more advanced, then you've got these other options to play with. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go with the normal, the FTP. Then login type, you want to go to normal, then the user. Put in the username, just like it would be up here, and the password right here. And then you click on connect. Let me show you. Now this is info that I received or that I created actually from within my C panel or control panel and that's another option you can work with in addition to getting these details from your web hosting company if you also have a control panel or in this case a C panel style control panel you can create additional FTP accounts and that's what this is from here and this is the host name that I created and it's uh, let me get over here to the beginning so you can see not all of them will start with FTP dot whatever some of them are just going to be this so which is basically a URL not even that HTTP again just depending upon the info that you have for yours and the and again just a quick recap the server type basically just the FTP uh, login type uh, normal and this is the user and depending upon the way you have your setup your user can have the at symbol in here boom just like this or it can be different so don't look at this as just like this has to be the way yours is set up just again this is information that you have to get from your account and then of course the password here and you just click on connect and now we are in the root directory that's what this guy is right here and the, this is the folders or files down here, of course it's empty, that are inside of here. Now, just to let you know, your root directory is your domain name. And you can kind of get an idea of it up here. Uh, for example, my domain name in this case is mydemonstrationsite.com. That's my domain name, the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mydemonstrationsite.com. So whatever yours is, uh, is your root directory. That is the same thing as this. So whenever I upload this for example this is just a, a, an example I'm going to select it right click and upload left click on upload that's one way you can also left click hold and drag it on over here now then to be able to view this on a in a browser you put in your URL HTTP colon forward slash forward slash my demonstration site dot com forward slash sample dot HTML that will bring that this particular file into your browser and you'll be able to see it. That would be your web address or that would be the address or the URL to this particular file. And if you also wanted to have images in here, you would create a directory or a folder, name it image or images or IMG, then you would open up that folder and inside of that folder is where you would upload those images or those files. So that's getting a little beyond the scope of this particular video. I just want to show you how to set up your FTP client. But the main thing that you want to do, whether it's FileZilla or any other FTP client, is you have to have these three items right here. And you get that info from your web hosting company. That's the host name, username, and password. Once you've got that, then just go and download your FTP client, uh, whether it's Qt FTP, Ace FTP, in this case FileZilla, or a multitude of other ones, and go to town. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on FileZilla. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.